but before we get to that, that we got to talk about something that's not so fun and, and comfortable oh, to discuss. We all have it, ladies. Yeah. It is a body flaw that I think they say like 98% of women have. Really? So pretty much everyone, right? We're talking cellulite. Mm, that's great. Love yeah. it. Yeah. All right. The cottage cheese feelings that your skin has, you know, no matter how hard you work out, it just doesn't seem to go away. So we asked three women to try three different creams for three weeks to see if they'd make any difference on those problem areas. Take a look. I'm Lisa Wexler, and I'm a talk radio host here in Connecticut in the New York area. I just turned 50 not too long ago, and my problem area it would be the back of my thighs. I'm Kathy McShane, and I run Ladies Who Launch in southwestern Connecticut, and I help women to launch or expand their businesses. I am 60 years old. My problem area is the back of my legs with cellulite. I'm Gail Sagel. I am the creator of Face is Beautiful, the one-stop beauty spot for women. I tend to get like some cellulite on the sides of my quads, and no matter how hard I work out or what I eat, I just can't get it as tight and smooth as I'd like it to be. Lisa, Kathy, and Gail are all successful women and they all have some cellulite they'd like to get rid of. Dimples. I think of dimples when I hear the word cellulite, particularly dimples in my rear thigh region. I don't, it doesn't bother it doesn't me. I think bother it's just me. part of the aging process. That's why I went to I age. I think it's part of my genetics. Oh my God. Dude, how do I have that opinion? I don't, I don't feel that way. You don't feel that way? No, how I work feel? hard to get rid of it. Okay. You guys have real emotions about it. I don't. I just think it's part of the process. Yeah. I, I, don't I don't have a... about it that much. I don't. I just think, you know, my mother probably had it. I think everybody has it. It's just part of the process. Well, Gail, you said you were young. I think I was young, no, too, I in shorts as a I kid. You always have a little bit right yeah. back here. I never had it here. I always had it, like, right in the front of oh, my quad. See, front would bother A tiny me. bit at my quad. And no matter how much I would go to spin classes or whatever the exercise phase was at the moment, or no matter how little alcohol I would drink or how little carbs I would eat, I still always had just a tiny bit. Gail, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Yeah, you have I a magnificent too. figure and you have a gorgeous shape, but I don't see any no, cellulite. Zero. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's a, it's about how I when I choose a bathing suit, which kind of cover up I put with it. Oh, well, okay. Or when I choose a pair of shorts, or when I choose a skirt, you know, that if it's a skirt that looks better in high heels because it's like, but I try, I mean, there's probably not a cream I Is haven't right? tried. Oh my God. I've really? never tried anything I, for I, 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 I use those, I use those cleansers anything. in the morning that have the, the caffeine in there. <laughs> there's not a thing I haven't tried. But one product Gail hasn't tried is Vici Cellud Stock, so we decided to have her put it to the test. Lisa and Kathy are also trying two different creams. Lisa's using Avon's A New Clinical, and Kathy is testing a regular moisturizing cream, Curel, Natural Healing. I think it's a combination of your genetics. I do. Yeah. Okay. A big part is your I genetics. I'm guilty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's a combination of what you eat. I think processed sugars and all that oh. just make it worse. Yeah, okay. I think when you drink more alcohol, it makes it worse. Yeah. Because we live in a society where it, anything that's considered imperfect. Yeah, we're very self-critical, and I think women are very hard on Well, ourselves. but I also think that I, I, I totally other people are very hard. hard. I think if you look at the media and you yes. look at... It's people about, Magazine, Cellulite here, Cellulite so, gone. But it's, yeah, and it's, but I think it's more than that. Lisa, I really do think that we live in a society where age is not celebrated. Everything that comes with age is a negative, and Cellulite comes with age. And, and you know what? Let's face it, it's not really very attractive. When, well, people, when, women, when women don't feel good, they eat more. Well, yeah, I do that. <laughs> I do do that. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So but when women want to feel better, they do things externally to themselves, whether it's buying a new lipstick or getting a new hair. I had my porcelain okay. nominated okay. teeth, and or I getting love new that. teeth, I'm not or, or wrong, getting rid of their cellulite, yes. so they feel better to approach the world. So the question is, will the creams really get rid of the cellulite? And if it can, what kind of results are Lisa, Kathy, and Gail hoping to see? I would like to see the waviness of the skin <laughs> evened out. That would be my expectation of a cream that would help cellulite. But the dimpling, which is what I consider to be cellulite, for the, for the cream to be successful, I would have to have less dimpling. That's the smoothness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I would like. Yeah, what about you? I would look for smoothness, but I would also look for firmness. And so I maybe. know lots of good facial creams that will firm your skin, your neck, your face. So I've, there was one that could handle the density of, of the skin on your legs. That would be good. That would be a home run to me. We definitely have to check back in with them to see if they had any positive results so that the rest of us know what to buy.